everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady and today I am getting started on tearing out my spring borders and getting them replanted for summer. Now the first step in doing this is always to go around the edge and pull the garlic out. This was fall planted garlic, it grew all winter and now the foliage is starting to look ugly. It's senescing and that's the sign that it is time for you to pull it out of the ground and then cure it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how simple that is. So there's a number of reasons that I always grow garlic right along my edges. For one thing, it's really easy access. I don't have to work very hard to be able to harvest. However, more strategically, um, the smelly garlic bulbs that are planted in the fall grow all winter help deter in-ground animals like voles, which are a huge problem for me. And the above ground foliage helps deter animals like deer, rabbits, and groundhogs. So not only is this an efficient way to grow a lot of garlic that I think is a very practical crop to grow for yourself, um, it helps deter animals that often cause a lot of problems in your garden. Now, another interesting little tidbit about garlic is most of the garlic, actually 90%, sold in American grocery stores is actually transported all the way from China. And to me, that just doesn't seem sensible. That's a pretty high food mile. So I always encourage people to grow garlic because, well, I think it's a really easy plant that helps deter animals and can provide you with a really meaningful harvest just from planting it right along your bed edges. Look you all, this is all just from one bed edge. I mean, that's a significant amount of garlic. Organic, absolutely delicious, zero kilometer, simultaneously protected all the rest of my plants from getting eaten by animals. Garlic is truly the most practical thing that you can grow in your gardens. Now let me show you how simple it is to cure it so that you'll extend its shelf life when you bring it inside to start cooking with. Well, as you can see, I've already been harvesting little bits of garlic as I noticed that the foliage is starting to like completely go limp and it'll be difficult to pull the bulb out. So I just tend to cure my garlic in like the easiest possible way. Basically you put it into bundles and then I put it under this patio umbrella where it's out of direct sun, it doesn't get rain, but it gets really good airflow. And they usually hang for about, I don't know, 14 to 20 days. And by properly curing, meaning all of the moisture from the stalks settles into the garlic bulbs themselves. Um, not only does that concentrate the flavor, but it allows the bulbs to stay fresh and edible for a significantly longer amount of time. So the really critical component to uh, proper garlic curing is airflow. So if you don't have a, you know, a patio umbrella or a covered porch, you could put this in a shed or a garage, but put a box fan on it. That way air is constantly circulating around it because it's really essential that it essentially all that moisture dries out. Um, I have a mix of mostly hard neck, but some soft neck garlic, and I don't distinguish between them when I go through and harvest. Um, I don't distinguish between them when I plant, so therein lies my initial issue. Um, some will be better for braiding. The soft necks are really great for braiding. The hard necks, I mean, the distinguishing factor in a hard neck is that it has a really hard neck, like it's not flexible at all. Um, hard neck garlic is generally better for cooler climates here in North Carolina. We can grow both. Hard neck just tend to set larger bulbs. Um, they tend to have um, like a bit of a stronger flavor. Hard neck, however, doesn't last as long as soft neck. So you can count on your hard neck varieties after curing they'll last usually three to six months, like on your counter. I usually recommend uh, once they've dried, you clean the bulbs up and I actually just stash them in um, like the reusable produce bags and I put them in my pantry. 
Um, I'll show you videos of that as we get to that stage. The soft neck, in contrast, have a much longer shelf life, usually six to nine months. So they have a more mild flavor and they don't tend to be as large, but they last longer. I grow both, that's what I recommend. If you live in really hot climate, soft neck's gonna be your only option. If you live in really cold climates, hard neck is gonna be your best. Here, kind of in between, we can grow both. So I am basically just going to put these garlics, I'm probably gonna grade them by bulb size. So I'll do small, medium, large. And then I'll get three big clumps that I'll be able to suspend right here on my back porch for the next few weeks. So basically I just sort of uh, twine them together with this stuff that I use later on in the season for tomatoes, sort of mesh green wire. Um, and you don't have to grade. I'm just doing it because I'm trying to isolate all the really small ones. The smallest sizes are going to be what I end up planting. We're going to eat the largest ones. And at this stage, you don't want to remove the foliage or the roots. You just want to kind of leave them exactly as they are. Okay, so you can see all the hard neck garlics that I just harvested are up and I kind of did a, a lazy braid. That is by no means a proper garlic braid. It was just kind of my way to get it organized. But in that batch, I found a few soft neck varieties and uh, you can see, you see how they, they're soft. Like they, they're not sturdy, but you can see how you can braid it all the way down to where the bulbs start. Whereas in the hard neck varieties, you're looking at almost a foot from where the bulb is to where the foliage is uh, soft enough to be able to braid. So that's one of the main differences in the function. Now, I also took down my first garlic harvest. You can see these are really small, but they're totally dried out. And so these are technically cured. Um, I find that peeling tiny bulbs like this just feels too tedious when I'm cooking. <coughs> Excuse me. That's primarily why I only bring the big bulbs in for culinary purposes. These I will um, actually just kind of cut the stalks off and I will stash these um, until it's time to plant garlic again sometime in the fall. Again, I usually say plant garlic between Labor Day and Christmas. This year I planted as late as the first week of January and they look great. So you have a really broad window for planting. Harvesting is typically, you know, sometime, depending on where you live, uh, late spring, early summer, and curing will make it so that you have a longer shelf life. Well, I hope that if you've not grown garlic before, you will be inspired to, and if you've been taking my advice and have garlic growing, this video will be helpful so that you'll best understand how to harvest and cure so that you maximize everything that you grew. All right, be sure to subscribe to the Breathe the Plant Lady YouTube channel for more practical gardening advice. And thanks so much for watching everybody.